Okay, we have a good one here today. We've got the Laplace transform of sine squared t. I got the idea from this in another video from Learn with San. I'll provide a link in the description to that, but I want to use basically the same kind of method or something very similar in order to do this. Now, first you might be wondering, why don't we just use our Laplace transform formula right here? Why don't we just use this, plug in and finish it off? Well, the problem is square root of t. So this right here, this is just like t to the first power. So this formula right here is not really going to work for us. So we're not going to be using this one in this video. What I want to do instead is let's just look at the power series expansion for sine of t. Okay, so here we have our power series for sine of t. Just noticing that the, the exponent is odd on everything, which makes sense because sine is an odd function. So that's a good way to remember it. And then we also have the same thing, the exact same, the exact same value is going to be in the denominator again, odd values. But we don't really care about sine of t because we've got sine square root of t. But we can actually just plug that in. Square root of t will be our input. When you do that, it's just going to change the exponent and everything. So instead of being 1, 3, 5, we're going to have 1 halves, 3 halves, 5 halves, 7 halves. And then let's just take this here and put it under a single summation. And what we've done here is we use 2n plus 1 in order to express all these odd values. Same thing here in the exponent. This is 2n plus 1 over 2. And the reason why this is going to help us in doing the Laplace transform is we don't have an easy way to deal with sine of square root of t. But if you just look at this as an infinite number of single terms, each of these is very easy for us to calculate because we just have, we have this formula right here. The whatever's in the denominator is just going to be a constant that we can pull outside of the Laplace transform. So really what we have is we just have t to some exponent and we can use our formula on it. So what I want to do is let's just focus on finding the Laplace transform of any one of these generic terms. We're not gonna have a problem swapping the Laplace transform with the summation later on. Just the way we would do it with an integral, we can swap the order. When we have the power series, we have the absolute convergence. So, so we can interchange these things and be okay. Okay, now from here, just focusing on doing the Laplace transform of some generic term in this series. First, minus one over n, two n plus one. This is gonna be a constant, like I said, that we can bring outside of the Laplace transform. And then what we're doing, we're just taking the Laplace transform of t to the 2n plus 1 over 2. I think what I'm going to do is reduce this to set it up to use the formula. So for 2n plus 1, I don't know why I'm writing this on a slant. But anyway, if you divide the 2 into this, this is the same thing as n plus 1 half. So here we just want the Laplace transform of t to the n plus 1 half. And then here, all we're going to do is use this formula up top here to put this in terms using the gamma function on this. We just need to add a one onto this right here. So using the formula on this, what's gonna happen is this is gonna become gamma of n plus three halves now. And then the denominator, we're gonna have the same value in the exponent s to the n plus three halves. And we still have all this constant stuff up front. And then from here, in order to simplify this, what I wanna do is just use our Legendre duplication formula that we have right here. And it's almost set up right. The only problem is we have gamma of n plus 3 halves. Here we have gamma of n plus 1 half. All I'm going to do is just kind of force it into this form. So for n plus 3 halves, I, could, I can write this like n plus 1 plus 1 half, where now our input into this formula is just going to be this piece right here. So using this, copying everything down, you'll see now we're kind of making a bigger mess. So it looks like we're going in the wrong direction, but it's really going to allow us to get all the cancellation and simplification we need. So plugging in over here, actually, let me copy down this part too. So we have s to the n plus three halves here. Then just using this, but our input where we have n here, everywhere is gonna be n plus one. So this is gonna become square root of pi. Plug n plus one in here, this becomes gamma of two n plus two. And then this one here becomes gamma of n plus one. And then I just need to squeeze in this part too. Again, if you plug in n plus one here, this transforms into two to the two n plus two. And then next, I think I'm gonna to try to get things out of this gamma notation now. So we have this formula right here. This is gonna work nice because we know n's an integer value. And so this is just gonna allow us to reduce the input by one and turn this into a factorial. So for gamma of two n plus two, this is the same thing as two n plus one factorial. And this right here is gonna be just n factorial. But then if this is 2n plus 1 factorial, I can cancel this with this right here. And sorry, this is a mistake right here, but if you plug in n plus 1 here, you actually get 2n plus 1. 
not 2n plus 2. You get 2n plus 2, but then you subtract 1, and you get back to 2n plus 1. Then one other simplification, I want to kind of, because we're putting this back into a series, I want to get all my, separate out all my constant values that don't have an n in it. So square root of pi is a constant. Here, we can write sn to the 3, sn plus 3 halves as s to the n times s to 3 halves, creating a constant there. And then I'll write this as 2 to the 2n times 2, where 2 is going to be a constant. So then let me just rewrite this to see what we have. But I'm going to take all the constant stuff and bring it out front. So we're going to have square root of pi over, we'll write this as 2 s 3 halves. And then grouping all the stuff with n separately, we're going to have minus 1 to the n over, we have our s to the n times n factorial. And we're going to have this 2 to the 2n. I can, with exponent properties, I can write this as 4 to the n. So let's write this as 4 to the n. And then let's just take everything we have here. And remember, this is inside a series. So let's plug it back in and then see if we can simplify this and finish it off. Okay, now after all that work, you could argue that what we have over here is maybe more complicated than what we started with. So we're making slow progress. But actually, we've got some good things going on because, first of all, everything over here is a constant that we can take out front of the series. And then here we have all these things with the same exponent that we can combine together in a single term. So let's rewrite it and bring the constant stuff out front. And then combining everything with the same exponent into one term, what's going to happen is I can write this as minus 1 over 4s, just changing the order there, and have this all the one exponent n. And all this stuff's just going to be over n factorial. And then at this point, we're close, but what we need to notice here is this right here is in exactly our form for the power series for just e to the x. Comparing this right here to our power series where the input in here is x, what I'm saying is this right here, this minus 1 over 4s, this is just going to be the x value. So what we can do is just take it and put it in this form, copying down all the constant stuff. And so using this, this whole thing here is just going to boil down to e to the minus 1 over 4s. And so for my final solution is we just get square root of pi times e to the minus 1 over 4s over 2s 3 halves, and that's it. Okay, so there you have it. I think that's definitely one of my favorite Laplace transforms we've done in the playlist. I'm not sure the Laplace transform of natural log of t was pretty good too, but this one is close. So anyway, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.